Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna go way beyond just typing in basic props. We're diving deep to unlock the real power of AI art, and I'm gonna show you the tools that give you like ultimate creative control. So I'm sure you've played around with AI image generators, right? You type in a prompt, you get a pretty cool picture, but what if you wanna go beyond that? What if you want to create something like this? I mean, something where you are in complete control of every single detail. Yeah, that's the big question, right? How do you stop being just a, a passive prompter and become more like an active AI director? You know, someone who can dictate the exact composition, the exact pose, and get that incredible, super high resolution detail. Well, guess what? That is exactly what we are gonna break down for you today. Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna cover three super powerful techniques. First, using ControlNet to direct your image. Then in painting, which is all about making those tiny, precise edits. And finally, upscaling to get those just breathtaking 4K results. Seriously, think of these as your new creative power-ups. And we're starting with a big one, taking control. All right, first up, control knit. This, this is the tool that completely transforms your relationship with the AI, for real. You're not just suggesting ideas anymore. Nope, you are giving direct commands. So what even is it? To put it simply, ControlNet lets you grab a reference image, any image, and use its structure as a blueprint for your new creation. We're talking its composition, the character poses, even the depth. It is an absolute game changer for getting the exact shot that's in your head. And you know what? Getting this setup in a tool like Comfy UI is surprisingly easy. It's really just a few steps. You download the workflow and the model files. You literally just drag the workflow right onto the interface, hit refresh, and you are ready to start directing. That's it. Okay, let's actually see this thing in action. We're gonna use a method called canny, which is basically all about detecting edges. We'll start with this a simple reference photo of a room. Nothing fancy, right? Just a basic layout. So what happens is the AI takes that photo and runs it through a canny edge detector, and it spits out this, a black and white edge map. This map is now our blueprint. It's like a set of instructions that forces the AI to follow the original composition down to the pixel. And here's the result. We prompted for a cozy bedroom at night with Christmas lights. And just look at that. The AI completely reimagined the entire scene, but it's stuck to the original layout perfectly. The bed is where the bed was. The window is in the same spot. That right there, that's total creative control. But wait, ControlNet isn't just for scenes. Oh no, it is incredibly powerful for characters too. So let's try that. We'll start with this reference photo of a person in a, a very specific pose. Okay, so this time we're not getting an edge map. Instead, ControlNet generates what's called a pose skeleton. It's basically a digital stick figure that extracts the exact position of the arms, the legs, the torso, the head, and that becomes the new guide for our character. And boom, we prompted for an evil sorceress in a black robe, and the final image perfectly mirrors that reference pose. The arm positions, the way she's leaning, it's all there. This just shows you how you can direct your characters with like absolute precision. It's amazing. Okay, let's do one more. This time we're gonna focus on depths. And again, we'll start with a reference image of a character. So the AI crunches on this and generates a depth map. See how some areas are lighter and some are darker? The lighter parts are closer to the camera and the darker parts are further away. This guide basically teaches the AI about the spatial relationships of everything in the scene. Our prompt was a cosplayer girl at a convention and check out the final image. The AI used that depth information to create a totally new character, a new background, but it kept a believable sense of space. It actually understands what should be in front and what should be in the back. Just incredible stuff. Okay, so you can direct the scene from the start. Awesome. But what if you already have an image you love and you just wanna change one little thing? That's where our second power-up comes in, in painting. Think of it as your digital scalpel for making super targeted, precise changes. Now, I gotta give you a quick heads up. The official editing model for Zimage isn't actually out yet. So this technique is, well, it's kind of a quick hack. It's a really clever workaround using the model we already have. And honestly, it works surprisingly well. The process itself is really straightforward. You just load your image, you open up a mask editor, and you literally paint over the part you wanna change. Then you tell the AI to focus on that spot and you write a new prompt just for that little area. Let's just walk through it together. Here's our original image. It's pretty great, but let's say we wanna replace this diary on the bed with something different. 
So we just open the mask editor and we draw right over the diary. This colored area basically tells the AI, hey, ignore everything else, just work your magic right here. And a little pro tip, using a softer brush on the edges helps the final change blend in perfectly. Then we write a new prompt, a sleeping cat. We hit generate and there it is. The diary is gone and in its place is a perfectly integrated sleeping cat. It even has realistic lighting and shadows. This is such a powerful way to fix little mistakes or just get creative with your images. All right, you've directed your scene, you've perfected the details. Now for the grand finale, taking your creation from just sharp to absolutely stunning. We are talking about upscaling to 4K perfection. And we're gonna look at two different ways to do this. The first is a multi-pass technique, which is a really clever way to use the base model. The second method is, well, it's more powerful. It uses a specialized upscaler for just jaw-dropping results. So this multi-pass method is really smart. See, instead of trying to generate a massive 4K image all at once, which can get kind of blurry, you do it in two steps. First, you generate a smaller but really high quality image. Then you feed that image back in as the starting point for a second higher resolution pass. This lets the AI focus just on adding detail, not on creating the whole thing from scratch. And you can really see the difference it makes. On the left, that's a high res image made in one shot. On the right, that's our two pass method. I mean, just look at the face. The multi-pass image is so much sharper, so much more detailed. It's a fantastic technique. And the best part is you don't even need any extra models for it. But if you want the absolute best quality possible, you gotta bring in the specialist. This upscaler is a separate dedicated model. It's designed for one thing and one thing only, adding insane amounts of detail and pushing your images to 4K and even beyond. So to show you just how powerful this thing is, we're gonna start with this pretty standard low resolution image. You know, it looks fine from a distance, but the details just aren't really there. But when we zoom in on the face, Oof, yeah, it's a blurry, pixelated mess. You can barely make out any features at all. So this is our starting point. Okay, now we take that blurry image and we run it through the upscaler workflow. And this, this is the full 4K result. The difference in clarity and vibrancy, it is just staggering right off the bat. But the real magic, the real wow moment is when we zoom back in. Just look at that. It's crystal clear. You can see individual eyelashes, the texture of her skin, the fine strands of her hair. It went from a blurry mess to photorealistic perfection. That is the money shot. So let's just bring this all together because these aren't just three separate tricks, right? What we've built here is a complete professional level creative workflow. It's all about control, refine, and perfect. And here's the main takeaway. You now have the tools to go so far beyond just a simple text prompt. You can direct the exact composition and pose with ControlNet. You can make those pixel perfect edits with inpainting, and you can achieve that breathtaking 4K final quality with upscaling. Basically, you've gone from being a passenger to being the pilot. You have the control, you have the precision, and you have the power to bring your wildest creative ideas to life. So really, the only question left is, what masterpiece are you going to create now? Hey, if you enjoyed this and learned something cool, do me a favor and drop a like and a comment down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to Nexolith AI so you don't miss the next one. Thanks for watching.